the villain of the new film Jeepers Creepers 3, which has been dogged by controversy a director convicted of molesting a child actor in 1988, several years before working on films for Disney, and directing the successful Jeepers Creepers slasher franchise, has been condemned for including comedic references to child sex abuse in his latest film. In 1988, a then 30-year-old Victor Salva was sentenced to three years in prison for molesting the 12-year-old star of his debut film Clown House, along with filming one of their encounters and possessing child pornography. He ended up serving just 15 months. The mugshot of director Victor Salva he spent the better part of a year grooming me and my parents, actor Nathan Forrest Winters said earlier this year. Developing the trust. It was very calculated, and a long process, as it is with most pedophiles. Despite his conviction, Salva began working again in the mid-90s, where his films included the 1995 Disney film Powder, and the Francis Ford Coppola-produced monster movie Jeepers Creepers, which has spawned two sequels. The latest, which was released this month in the U.S., faced controversy during its casting process when the Union of British Columbia Performers released a statement to Canadian casting agents warning that Salva was looking for an 18-year-old actress to portray a 13-year-old girl in the film. The ad was subsequently dropped from an array of casting sites. Poster artwork for Jeepers Creepers 3 Despite the warning, the role was eventually filled by actress Gabrielle Haw, who has appeared on the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. While early reviews have the film noted that the film includes explicit references to her character's sexual abuse. In the film, Haw's character Addison is a runaway whose estranged relationship with her stepfather is alluded to have involved sexual abuse. While no scenes depict her molestation, two other characters share an exchange in which they express sympathy for her abuser. Can you blame the stepdad, though one character says. I mean, look at her. The heart wants what it wants, am I right Gina Phillips and Justin Long in the original Jeepers Creepers credit Reuters Jean Padua of the scene, which was featured in screener copies of the film sent in advance to critics, has subsequently been removed from the version of the film publicly screened and released on DVD. Despite the change, and the fact that Victor Salva's name does not appear on press releases for the film mailed to journalists by its distributor, observers have condemned the scene and Salva's continued employment in the industry. Ask yourself this what does it say to rape survivors when they see directed by Victor Salva on a new movie? Don't even answer. Think. Scott Weinberg at Scott Weinberg September 27, 2017 Read the Ein Review for Jeepers Creepers 3, and if you thought Victor Salva would avoid child molestation jokes in his script, yeah I'd be wrong. Justin Yandel at Shotgun Send September 27, 2017 Meanwhile, Winters is planning a documentary about his molestation and the prevalence of pedophilia in Hollywood, releasing a statement to Horror Fuel in which he said the film will show my journey from victim to survivor. It is my belief that we as a whole in this country have been too afraid to face such an unspeakable topic and continue to turn a blind eye, which has allowed these predators of our children to go unchecked for too long. United, victims and survivors and parents and children can make this world safer. Education is prevention, and the more light we shed on this darkest of crimes, the fewer shadows there will be for them to hide. The 50 Best Horror Movies of All Time